Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Braid1. In today's video we're going to be showing you the second week of the top 10 mining GPUs to use with the best profitability. So there's a lot of profit calculators that have it totally wrong and I will show you that in a minute as well. And uh, well this actual list will show you which graphics card is the best on return of investment based on their price and based on their profit per month. So I added a lot of new things to the list but first of all let's roll the intro. Okay so if you don't know where to find this page I will leave uh, link in the description below. It is on my website. It is called the top 10 mining GPU 2019 list and over here I update it weekly right now on what the profitability is of a graphics card and I will also update the price of the graphics card because uh, right now we can see a big difference compared to last week and we can clearly see that AMD has lowered the prices of their GPUs and what is causing this this is actually causing it that seven of those AMD graphics cards are currently sharing the most profitable GPUs on this list. So all these graphics cards are slightly cheaper, only the RX 570 is slightly more expensive than last week. That one rose up about $10 on Amazon. But the thing is, AMD keeps lowering their prices of their graphics cards. And maybe the reason is that they have these new RX 5700 and the XT version that are about $350 to $400. And these will be really interesting mining cards. But unfortunately, they are not supported yet on the miners because their kernel of the architecture of RDNA is not supported yet. So we will be waiting for those graphics cards but I am really sure that they will hit the top 10 on this list. Next up we also have the Super RTX 2070 on this list and actually it is so good at mining that it ended up on being position 8. It's not really the best for an Nvidia graphics card to be on number 8 but uh, yeah it's one of the best compared to the AMD graphics cards. So next up we have that the Radeon 7 has lowered in price. So it is back to 699. In last week's video, I made a, a comment like I said like yeah AMD can never hold their prices on their graphics cards and I showed you an image that they were like $1,100. So the funny part is that right now they actually lowered the price back to $699. So maybe they were watching my video and they were like oh yeah we need to change that man we need to we need to lower the prices again. So one of the best graphics cards uh, compared to one of the worst on the, on the top 10 list is the RX 56. It is only $279 and it is so equal to a Vega 64. But the Vega 64 is sold for almost $400. But still it's a good graphics card if you already have it, but I recommend you buying RX Vega 56s and in theory you can actually flash it to a Vega 64. Uh, but yeah, price ratio, this one is a really good graphics card. Lowering down on the list you can see GTX 1660s that are really good at Ravencoin. Um, yeah, that's also one of the things we added to the list. We added which coin you need to mine on this graphics card to get the best profit ratio. Mainly for people that are still using classic miners like the Claymore miner or um, the Monero stack miner or something similar like that. And they don't want to use something like Kudo miner or NiceHash. So the RTX 2060 has gone down in this list as well, all the way down to 12. The 1660 Ti, even though it was looking like a really good mining card, has lowered down to number 13. And yeah, even the RTX 2060 Super, it's so expensive. So it actually ended up being on number 17, uh, just like the RTX 2070. It's $470 and it's doing worse than the RTX 2070 Super that is only a few bucks more expensive. And actually the RTX 2070 Super is just an equal RTX 2080. But if you scroll down you can find the RTX 2080 that it has the same performance but this graphics card is almost $700. 
So it's absolutely not worth buying this graphics card over an RTX 2070 Super. So now that we have the new weekly 2 update, I just want to show you guys one thing and the reason why I actually made this list on my website. Because, for example, there are other profit calculators like NiceHash does and they show you something really funny. They show you the best graphics cards, like they only base it on the earnings per day. So the funny part here is that they say, for example, that the AMD Radeon 7 is one of the best cards to mine with because, oh no, it is making $2 and 21 US dollars a day. But in theory, it is actually the card that is on number nine on the list. The reason being why they're doing this is probably by selling these graphics cards that are way more expensive, but of course they're gonna make more a day, but they cost so much more. So yeah, their ROI is just shitty. So one funny example is for example, the Nvidia Titan V. So even though it's making almost $2 a day and you've tried to find a Titan V on my list, well, it's all the way down on number 31. And the reason being is that this one takes about 32 months to have a return of investment without electricity. So you can imagine that this is over three or four years to get your return of investment, even though NiceEdge is saying that it's one of the best graphics cards. So yeah, what do you think about uh, this update? I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have something to add to the previous or next video that I'm going to be making next week about week three, just let me know in the comments below or send me an email that is also in the description. Like last time, I really had some good feedback about the things you guys wanted because I also included the GPU mining hash rates database and I got a lot of feedback on things that I can improve. So thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on this really awesome uh, features that I'm building on the website. So hopefully I see you guys next week on the week three top 10 mining GPUs.